New on the four with those colder temperatures coming our way next week. We are on your side talking to a professional for everything you need to know before you switch on your heat. Uh, Bria Chapman is live and on your side. Bria, there is a checklist we need to go through as we transition to another season. Yes, that's right, Sarah. On time service says now it's the time to be getting your furnace checked. They say the inspection could take anywhere from one to two hours, but it will keep your it's the key to keeping you and your family safe during the winter months. Carrie Atkins with on time service says the number one thing people should be doing right now is getting their furnace ready to come on. And the first way to do that is by contacting a professional. And so if you haven't had maintenance done in a while, now is the time to do it. You really want to do it before you turn it on, not wait till you try to turn it on and then it doesn't work. And so the number one things to look for is um, if you haven't changed your filter out in a while, change your filter every 90 days, but if you have pets in your house every 60 days. With many of us not using our furnace during the summer months, Atkins says that's even more of a reason to get it inspected. The number one thing that, that we look for are cracks in the heat exchanger because if there's cracks in the heat exchanger that will let carbon monoxide get into your house and carbon monoxide is dangerous you can't see it you can't smell it but it is dangerous and as the weather fluctuates Atkins says it's okay to change the temperature in your home often from hot to cold I mean the, the systems are designed to do that one thing I would tell people is the first time your heat comes on you're probably going to notice a little bit of a burning smell uh, and it, it, you know, kind of a mild burning smell. That's nothing to worry about. It's probably just dust that accumulated on the burners over the summer. Atkins says when you do change from those cooler to warmer temps, try to keep them at a steady temperature. He also recommends checking your carbon monoxide detector and making sure it does not need to be replaced. Live in Birmingham, I'm Bria Chapman, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.